In this video, I want to go over replacing your WeBoost antenna. Uh, we had a debacle, a little battle between the uh, low-hanging tree branches, high velocity, and our WeBoost antenna, and guess what? Lost. So we are in the process of replacing that antenna. Let's go through this together and see what you need to do in case this happens to you. We're filming this October of 2021, so make sure if you're watching this, that date corresponds and is appropriate for what you're looking for when you're shopping for a new antenna. We have the Drive X. Now there's a newer version called the Drive Reach, which is more powerful, but I'm not going to buy a new amplifier. I just need the antenna. This particular antenna replaces both the Drive X and the Drive Reach. Therefore, to work for either one. So if you have either one and you smash it on a bridge or a low hanging branch, then this will this will do the job for you. All right, let's see what you get. I'm not big into unboxing videos. I just need a new antenna. So I figured maybe we could help you out. If the same thing happens to you, you'll have a good idea of what you're going to do. You order a new one, and I believe this is 100-ish. It comes with directions. All right, the main antenna portion. And I know this wiring feeds through the antenna mount. If you already have this cable installed on the top of your rig, you won't need this. So, got that. Mounting brackets. I'm not gonna use this because the one that we already have on there is still pretty hefty. It's substantial. I may replace the spring on it just for the sake of replacing it. And this little guy, which is the cable side output. So in other words, a cable runs out of here and attaches. This runs out, attaches to this cable and runs to your amplifier. That's what's in the box. All we're going to do is replace the mast and put the new antenna on top of the new mast. I'm also gonna replace the spring because this one's a little rusty. The bracket itself, I think it's pretty substantial. It does not need to be replaced. It doesn't even need to be tightened. So it stays. This is the point here. The two come together. So I'm gonna take this apart, take this off, and just toss this. And we'll start fresh from this point back. If you're finding this video useful, please click on that like button to help us reach more people. And also consider subscribing to follow our journey. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos each week. Yep, that requires a vice grip. I'm just gonna start by removing the cable from the antenna. There we go. We've got some electrical tape, I'm gonna lose this. And I will replace this later. So none of this is needed. Oh wow, yeah, this is easy. Seven eight socket, I believe, yeah. La, there you have it. Loctite. All right, so clearly this is the bottom, which goes in, bolts into that spot. And then this, through here, and we'll screw this into here once we run that cable. Let's go get that stuff. We have our antenna, right? And I'll tell you, this is really light. But, uh, I feel like it's just a case of air. We are going to feed our wire through, simple, thread this guy, Solid. now you can see why you need the side outlet, let's flip this, so when you tighten this just make sure you keep this wire sort of out and allow it, allow some flexibility, otherwise it just kind of wraps itself around the the mast, there you go, tight, tight, good, all right. A little lip on it, goes face down, 
or face up on here and then face down into here. And it kind of seats into the bracket just, just fine. Not only do we repair reboost antennas, but we also live in this thing. So check out some of our other content and see some of these adventures where we actually need a WeBoost antenna. Make sure to leave some slack on this because if you're super tight and then it snap, no good. So leave the flexibility here so it has plenty of play to articulate back and forth. Reverse it and tighten it. Technically, we're done. I'm gonna get some electrical tape and tape right here so that there's plenty of articulation. And it'll look just like that. I am wrapping black electrical tape around the cable that feeds into the side terminal on the mast. And I'm taping it to the ladder. But I left enough cable Keep this in mind, like I mentioned earlier, to give the articulation that far, that far, in whatever direction you need to go. That should be plenty if we hit something. Sadly, we can't test it here. No, that's true. Because our signal, where we are, is really strong. True. So this is useless when you have a really strong signal. Right. Well, it's not useless. I mean, but when we'll you have very low bars, it will, it'll turn one bar into two or three bars but it has always been enough when we've been out on the road when you're boondocking somewhere to take a signal that you can't send a text or take a phone call to where you can actually send a text get a text and make a phone call sometimes you're so far out that you don't get the data but you'll still end up being able to make an emergency call or send the text out which is pretty important when you have kids and you know you're out in the middle of nowhere if you end up in a battle between a low tree branch or a low bridge and your wee boost and you have to replace the antenna. Know that you can do it on your own. You can do it very quickly. You don't need many tools and it is that easy. All right, update. We've had the opportunity to get the rig out a few times and we have been in a few locations with a pretty poor signal. And you know what? The new antenna worked just as well as the old one. So as far as an update goes, what we did worked just fine. So if you're in the same situation, it'll work. If you're interested in our full-time RV living adventures or our boondocking, click on the playlist over here and we'll see you over in our next video.